Hello, my name is Nathan Butterfield, and this video is brought to you by the Florida State University College of Information. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to remove and then reinstall a CD DVD drive. Let's take a look at the materials that are required for this installation. For this installation, we will need the computer, a screwdriver, and the CD DVD drive. First things first, we must work in a safe and static free environment. Power down the computer and then remove the power cord from the back of the machine. Next, ensure there are no plastic bags or paper in your work area. And finally, ground yourself by touching any of the unpainted metal surfaces on the computer's frame. First, we need to open the side panel of the computer. Take the screwdriver, loosen the screws, and then with your fingers, undo the screws. Next, push down on a locking lever and pull back on the side panel, and then lay it flat. Next, we need to remove the front panel. First of all, you need to push in on the three detents located here, here, and here. Push on them towards the outside of the computer. Next, pull the front panel away from the computer and lay it on its side. These green locks keep the peripheral devices secure in the bay. Slide them one direction to unlock the device and slide them the other direction to lock the device. Now, let's turn the computer on its side. Now that we know where the drive is located, let's remove it from the computer. First of all, disconnect the data connector and then the power connector on the back of the device. Next, unlock the green slide and then push the CD DVD drive towards the front of the computer to remove it. Now, looking at the back of the CD DVD drive, we notice two connectors. The larger connector is the power connector, and the smaller connector is the data connector. Now that we have removed the original CD DVD drive, we can reinstall a new one. First, ensure that the drive bay is unlocked. Next, insert the CD DVD drive from the front of the computer, ensuring that it is face side up. Then, lock the drive in place. After that, we simply need to reconnect the power and the data connectors. Now, let's replace the front panel. First of all, turn the computer right side up. Next, line the front panel up with the computer. Then, push back on the front panel, snapping the locks into place. Now, let's replace the side panel. Line the side panel up with the computer. Once it's in place, slide it forward to lock it in. Next, take the screws. and replace them in their original positions. Finally, take the screwdriver and lock them tightly into place. Once again, my name is Nathan Butterfield, and I would like to thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and informative.